Hey guys, in a recent lesson, a student of mine said, Hey, next week is my 33rd birthday. It's a schnapsal. Aber wie sagt man schnapsal auf Englisch? Alright, so this idea of numbers like 11, 22, 33, 44 um, being important for birthdays doesn't really exist in the US. We have other birthdays that are more important than these schnapsal. So, what birthdays are important in the US? So of course when you're a kid, <laughs> your first, your second, your third, all of them are important. And then when you're a teenager, they, each individual one starts becoming a little less important. But the 16th birthday is a really big one. One big reason is, in the US, you can get your driver's license when you're 16. So 16, they sometimes even say sweet 16. Um, for your sweet 16 birthday party. And 18 is a big deal. When you turn 18, you're an adult. So from when you're born till you're 17, you only have certain rights. But when you're 18, you're an adult. You can sign contracts on your own. You can move out of the house without your parents' permission. You can do a lot of things without your parents' permission. You can buy cigarettes. You can join the military. But there's one thing you can't do which I find ridiculous, but I'm not in charge of the laws. The one thing you can't do is drink alcohol. And that's why your 21st birthday is so important. On your 21st birthday, you can legally drink alcohol. You can legally buy alcohol. Of course, people drink when they're teenagers. <laughs> this law, you can argue how well it works, but legally, you have to be 21 to drink alcohol. Then after you turn 21, it pretty much is every five years. 25th, 30th, 35th are all big birthdays. Then we get to 40. When someone turns 40, we say that they're over the hill. It's a common expression in the U.S. And it kind of means you've reached about, on average, half your life. And now you're starting to go downhill. And at this, it's only every 10 years that you really get to celebrate your birthdays in a big way. 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, and so on. So, these birthdays, 22, 33, 44, schnapsal in the U.S., just aren't that big of a deal. And we don't really have a common term for these kinds of numbers. So, if you learned something today, click on the thumbs up to give me a like. And, to not miss any of these tips, about American culture and how it differs from German culture, as well as how to speak English more naturally, click the subscribe button. See you soon!